Hey everybody, welcome back to Peppers for Christ. I am at Valley Water Mill Park, Springfield, Missouri. I am going to do a quick lap and hopefully, I'm doing this all by phone. Hopefully it doesn't, my phone doesn't crash. And so I don't know how many of you will actually watch the entire length of the video. If you do, by the way, I wanna thank you in advance because I love that people subscribe and they give it a thumbs up and comment on my channel. But I always, I tell people, I said, if you if you really, really wanna help the channel out, if you actually watch my videos, even if you do that while, you know, watch my videos while you're cooking or while whatever you're doing, it's greatly appreciated because it does help boost the channel up. And in the long run, it helps me create more content. Anyways, look how beautiful it is out here. This is where Springfield gets most of their uh, drinking water from. And uh, so it's really important to keep these ecosystems nice. Every once in a while I do see trash out here. I get a little frustrated. They make this accessible to people and they trust people that they'll take care of the area and the nature and this beautiful area that God gave us. And a lot of people kind of betray that trust. You know, they throw their trash out here and everything else so let's try not to do that right but anyways so I'm going to talk a little bit about God and nature and you know my take on it so the reason why you know peppers for Christ it started out as a chili channel you know and I talk about God a little bit that's a given but um a big reason why I started doing outdoor videos is because I think that nature is super important, especially for people like me that are really connected with nature because it gets me away from the distractions in the world and helps me to connect with God. I um, have ADD or ADHD, that's what I meant to say. So I get very distracted very easily and I have a really hard time focusing, meditating and really connecting with God. So when I come out here on the trails, it helps me to do that. So it really helps me to like focus on the universe and the world around me and see what it's trying to tell me. Because I think that God uses nature, at least for some of us, not everybody receives God the same way. But for some of us, nature does talk to people. So, I mean, when you look throughout scripture and Genesis, you know, uh, God brought the animals to Adam to name them. So he used nature there. And in the Garden of Eden, you know, it talks about the garden. It talks about, you know, the serpent came in the garden, little things like that. So once again, nature's involved. The Great Flood, that's part of nature. Um, you know, God uses his miraculous power to use nature in so many different ways. Um, you know, Jonah, swallowed by the whale once again nature and uh, so there's all sorts of things going on and even when we look up into the sky at nighttime and we see the miraculous wonders of the stars and planets and uh, eclipses and all this cool stuff that's going on right you know we we get information that God is trying to share with us and like I said, not everybody receives the same message, but for me, I think it's uh, I think it's pretty awesome because you know a lot of people think that you know God spoke to people in the Bible and then the, the Bible ended and that was it. But I think that God is still revealing stuff to us just like He did with a lot of the prophets and a lot of people in the Bible, and I think that's still ongoing today. Check this out. There's some. Uh, they have like seats and I guess they must have some kind of classes out here. You have bathrooms and water fountains and everything. Oh, and here, kind of give you a glimpse. Yep. And then it tells you all the, the, the edibles and fruits that are ripening. I don't think that you're allowed to forage out here. But anyways, just kind of trying to give you a view. There's people coming up on the trail, so when they come by... I'm going to point the camera in the other direction so that I'm not getting them in the shot. So, here we go. 
point it the other way. Kind of give you guys an idea of the area. See, it says here on the sign, Habitat Restoration in Progress. Please stay on the trail. So anybody that doesn't know a lot about, you know, hiking on trails and stuff, you want to stay on the trail. It's really important because, especially with like restoration areas, you don't want to widen the trail because when you widen the trail, it really hurts the, the ecosystem because you don't want to trample on any plants or anything. You want to leave nature exactly the way it is. Here's about the wetlands. And uh, so this is really cool. There are certain parts of this trail that actually reminds me of Florida, which is really kind of crazy um, because I'm in the Midwest and this is a very different environment. But um, anyways, yes, yeah, so back to the whole nature thing is uh, sometimes when I'm out here, I feel like I can kind of hear God a little bit better because there's not the noise of TVs and um, automobiles. And if you have kids, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Having a quiet moment is not something that comes by all the time. So you just kind of got to take it while you can. See, it kind of went to from dirt to gravel through here. This is really nice gravel. It's uh, actually really comfortable on my feet. This is such a beautiful trail. I don't know if I'm going to video the whole entire loop. I was going to do the whole entire loop, but we'll just kind of see where this goes. But anyways, yeah, lately I've had a lot going on in my life and trying to make time for everything. And I kind of feel selfish when I take a moment and uh, you know, I come out here and I like the peace and quiet, but this is really good for your health too. Getting fresh air. The air is really clean back here. You're, you know, you're surrounded by trees, so you're getting all that, that fresh oxygen and all the natural, you know, pollens and stuff, which if you have allergies, it could be a little overbearing, but I've noticed that I, I used to have allergies so bad, but over the years, all the hiking I've done, my body has actually built up a tolerance for the environment around me, and I don't really think that's any coincidence. I just think that that's how God designed our bodies. Um, I really don't think that we were designed to be, you know, behind you know, brick walls all the time and, you know, inside with artificial lighting. You know, get outside, get some natural light, some fresh air. It's good. I made a video right over here. I'm up on the bridge now. And uh, I was cooking some ramen noodles on that rock right there. You can kind of still see the ashes. Anyways, so... This was one of my favorite hiking spots because it's so close to home. And it's only one and a quarter mile loop. So if I ever just want to take like a really short walk, I can do just a couple laps. And if I feel like I have a lot of energy to burn off or got a lot on my mind, I can do several laps. I know like I do four laps and that's like five miles right there. But anyways... Yeah, back to what I was saying about, you know, making time for ourselves is sometimes it can feel selfish, but, you know, it's really important that we take care of our physical health and our mental health. And, uh, because it affects our spiritual health and it affects our relationships in our life, both business and personal. So when we come out here, you spend a little time outside. Not everybody's a nature person, so that's understandable. But whatever it is you do for your mental health, I encourage people just to find something that brings you a little bit of peace and joy. Bring your blood pressure down and those racing thoughts and have a little bit of quiet time with God. Even if it's just five, ten minutes a day. No matter how busy we get in our life, we can always make a little time for God and people we care about. Even if it's, and I, I you know, pardon the expression, but while we're going to the bathroom, some people are so busy in their life, that's the only free moment they get is when they're in the bathroom. You know, check up on people you care about. Take care of your mental health. You're going to be a lot better for the people around you. 
if you take care of your physical health and your mental health. I'm out of breath because I'm climbing up this hill. <sighs> Can't really tell in the video, but there's some pretty big inclines out here. Isn't this incredibly beautiful? See, it's magic hour. The sun's about to go down over here. I love that last hour of sunlight in the day. To me, a lot of people are morning people. I've always been a evening night person, but my favorite time of the day is magic hour. This is when a lot of people break out their cameras. In fact, the last lap I did around this, there was a guy that was out here, had a huge video camera, and he was videoing the birds and stuff out here. Check out this platform down here, isn't that cool? So the trail, it kind of loops around and goes right down here. It's like an observation deck. Pretty wild. But yeah, back to magic hour. So magic hour, sorry, I get distracted, I told you. That ADHD is kicking in. Yeah, magic hour is great. That last hour of daylight, it's not too hot. It's not too bright. I got a little bit of sensory issues when I'm in the scorching sun. I can't, I don't like to be out and right in the middle of the day. It's too bright for me. That's why you guys see me with sunglasses on a lot. There's where the trail turns off to go to the observation area, but I'm not going to go there right now. Now, around this time, another thing I like is not only is the temperature and the lighting perfect, but right up here at the top, there's some really big deer that I usually see around this time. And I'm gonna talk a little quieter because I'm hoping when I come up here, maybe I'll catch them on camera. That'd be really cool. So, we'll see. We'll see what's what. We're climbing uphill right now. And uh, so you're gonna hear me huffing and puffing. Look at all the wildflowers growing through here. Isn't that awesome? They're really pretty. Nature is amazing. And there's some edibles too. Like um, there was a couple edible plants I passed by. I forgot to stop. I was going to show you guys. There's a bellflower out here actually. I think that's bellflower right there. Yep. That's bellflower. See this? You can take, you can actually take a piece of this. And it doesn't really... Tastes like much of anything, kind of tastes like chamomile. But it's loaded with antioxidants. It's got an earthy flavor. Check out that bird up there on that. So I said, there's nature all around. And uh, so yeah, the bellflower is good. You can make, uh, it mainly just add it to stuff for like a garnish. You can make like a, I think you can make a tea out of it or add it to salads and stuff like that. It's just a really pretty garnish and loaded with micronutrients. I'm slowly over the years learning edible plants and medicinal plants. This goes right back to everything that God has provided for us. He has given us all this natural stuff to use and to use it responsibly. And uh, so I'm a firm believer. A lot of people think I'm just a big hippie for, you know, telling people recycle, reduce, reuse, you know, picking up trash. A lot of people make jokes about it. But, you know, God gave us the only planet that we know of that has life so abundantly like this. And uh, maybe there is life somewhere else, but... I have a hard time believing that we'll find another Earth like this. I mean, just look how green everything is. And I think that God wants, to take, wants us to take care of it, and I think He wants us to take care of each other. I had somebody once say, and it kind of stuck in my head, you can't say you love God and treat people like garbage. Well, I agree with that. And I think the same thing goes for, uh, the same thing goes for, uh, hold on, I'll check this out. Yep, see? I think the same thing goes for the planet. We should take care of the planet too. 
Because if we really love God, we'll love his beautiful creation too and not trash it. You know, if I had a really close friend that was like, hey man, you know, check out my nice ride. I worked really hard for this vehicle. I'm not going to climb in this vehicle. There's a cliff down here. Let's go take a look at it. So I'm going, I'm going off of the main route because I want to show you guys. But anyways, back to what I was saying. If I had a friend that had some, like a really nice house or a really nice car, I'm not going to be like, hey, that's great and trash it because I value my friendship. And I think we should value our friendship we have with God and with each other. Absolutely, 100%. Okay, look how high this is up. I don't want to get too close to the ledge here. <laughs> look, can't really tell, but that is it's pretty high up. Yep, so we started out way over there, and now we're on the other side of the lake. So let's go right back up. Climbing back uphill again. But anyways, yeah, that's what I got for today, guys. And, uh, oh, there's somebody over here. Might be somebody recording. I don't want to interrupt. But anyways, I don't think I'm going to do the whole loop today. Maybe I'll do that another day. But I'm going to get up over the bend here, and I'm going to show you guys one more thing before I end this video. And I really hope you guys like it. If you want to see more videos like this, or hear me ramble on about God and nature, you know, please give it a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know. Even if you think it's terrible, you can still let me know. Just be gentle, you know, keep the comments respectful. And uh, I'll do the same thing in return. But look, this all goes downhill and it goes back uphill. But anyways, that's, I just came from up there. It kind of goes up and down. So anyways, guys, hope you like this video. I'm out of breath. I got to get back in shape. I wasn't able to do a lot of hiking. I was doing mostly biking for the last eight months, but I got a, a vehicle now. And uh, so I'm getting back out here on the trail. Walking and biking are both healthy, but they're really not the same thing. I am trying to mix it up and try and do both. That way I can be you know, good at both. All right, guys. Y'all have a great night. God bless. Drop a comment. Let me see what... Let me see what you guys want to see next, all right? And uh, love y'all. Y'all are great. God bless.